Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I have some amazing secret sauce for you, and that is the ultimate template for Affinity Photo. Let's get started. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer, and I wanna thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also, I have a new online course out for Micro Worlds. It's about two hours long and has 17 individual videos in it. If you want to check that out, the first 100 people to get it, get it for just 25 bucks. Link below this video. Okay, let's get started and get the first mystery out of the way. How am I using artboards in Affinity Photo? First of all, what is an artboard even? Normally, you only have one canvas inside of an Affinity Photo file and you can do all kinds of amazing stuff in there and then export that. But artboards means you have multiple canvases and you can export export them individually and you can of course set them up with the right sizes which makes this the ultimate template. How am I doing that? Well actually you need Affinity Designer to do these artboards like here and then you can save it and the file for Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer is basically the same file only that Affinity Photo is lacking the, fu the functionality to create artboards on its own. So that's a little bit of a caveat, but I think most people have Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. If you don't have it, this might be a good reason to get that. Now, how am I using these different artboards here? As you can see here, I have created artboards for different sizes. So this is 4K, this is 1080p, which you can also use for covers on YouTube. Then you have a Facebook post size, you have a newsletter image size, you have Instagram square size, Instagram landscape size, Instagram portrait size. And then over here, we also have Pinterest vertical. Now for Pinterest and Instagram, I have doubled the resolution that is suggested just because I think then you get crisper images that just look better. But the benefit of that is you have already set up everything. And another benefit is if you use a lot of the same things when you post something, you can set that up beforehand for all of these different formats. For example, if you have text in your image like here, or if you have a watermark, or if you have a logo in there, you can set that up. So it already has the position in there. It has the size in there. It has the font in there. The colors are set up. So all of that work is done for you. And basically you only have to exchange the background. This is what makes this so fast. But here comes some extra secret sauce on how to get even more efficient with that. So first, First of all, if you create something like, for example, this text that I have down here, you want to adjust that in a way where, for example, if you have this text here and you have a shadow behind that, which is done with the layer effects. So select that layer, click down here on the FX symbol and you open that up. And then you can see down here in the corner, it says scale with object. That is really important because if you then copy this over to another artboard and scale it, the shadow needs to scale with your text so the design stays the same. Now, as you can see here, I have an outline. The way I have created this outline around the text to highlight the text a little bit more is a normal rectangle that you can do with the rectangle tool over here. And then you go up here, set the fill to nothing, which is this little circle up here with the red line through that. And then set the stroke up to the color you like, to the size you like. But again, very important, hook here, scale with object, because otherwise it is going to keep the width of that stroke, no matter how big that rectangle is. So you want to use the stroke to get smaller when you resize that rectangle. And then also think about, for example, the joint. So in this case, when you think about, do you want to have these corners here round? As you can see here, they are round. So you go up here to the stroke and there, for example, the joint, you can set it to this. It makes it a straight line 
or you can set it to the meter joint where you just have a normal 90 degree corner. Of course, for all of these artboards, you can also set up any kind of other adjustment you want to have in there. For example, you can set up a curve adjustment, a LUT adjustment, all these kinds of things, or load in different kinds of LUTs that you want to use. And then you can simply turn them on and off based on what of kind of photo you're using. And this makes your process of posting to different social media sites super fast, super easy. Now here is another secret sauce that you can do. I have prepared a second text design here and this works differently. I want to show you that. So this is the second one and I will also turn it on over here because there is a little secret in here. So as you can see here, we have this text in here and we have the same text over here, but this is an embedded affinity photo file. As you can see here on the right side, it says text.af photo, which means this is a affinity photo file, which you normally create just like you would affinity photo file, of course, without a background that's important. So up here, document transparent background, make sure there's a hook next to that. So the background is transparent when you export that. And then you save it as an affinity photo file, and then you place it in there also as an affinity photo file. Now, why would you do that? Look at that. When I double click on this, this is opening up as a new document. Up here it says embedded, and then I can adjust the text in here. So I can, for example, write now, okay, and then control S to save that. And you can see when I go back to my document, this is updated here, but it is also updated over here. So when you prepare these texts and you always have them the same way, you can update the text in all of your artboards at the same time with just one adjustment. That is really, really useful. By the way, here's another secret sauce. If you do that often, what you want to do is to have this text uh, this is only if you have the text centered, which I have here. You want to also select centered alignment here for the text up here, because as you can see, if I change my text, it's repositioning in the same way on both sides. So the text still is centered inside of my design. So go wild with that. I will also link this file so you can download my ultimate template and can use it for your different social media designs. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, maybe share it with your friends. Of course, I'm always open for comments. If you have more questions or suggestions for tutorials, let me know about that and see you soon. Bye.